Good morning. Welcome to worship at Highway Avenue Mennonite Church. It is Palm Sunday, the day of celebrating Jesus' arrival in Jerusalem, even in the midst of rising tensions between Jesus and the religious leaders in the Roman Empire, and where in just a few days things would become much greater for Jesus and the disciples. At a personal level, it's also the birthday of one of our grand, first birthday of one of our grandchildren, and we are celebrating. Yet we are also grieving because we won't be able to celebrate the way we usually would. We probably won't get to hold our grandchild on his first birthday. And so it's a good Sunday to think about how we balance celebration and grief, how we hold faith in unusual and difficult times. Next Sunday, we hope to worship by Zoom with a number of us being able to see each other. And if you don't have a computer with a camera, we'll at least be able to make it so you can call in and listen live. To test this, we're going to have a Zoom in call-in check time, check-in time this Tuesday, April 7th at 4.30 p.m. It is especially for those of you who haven't used Zoom before or haven't used it often. For all of you that are on the Hively email list, uh, you will, Mary will email you a link that you can follow on your computer, and it should make it so you can plug in at least with audio and hopefully visually as well. If you follow at that link at that time on Tuesday, we'll see what happens and how we might need to help you be ready so that you can then join us for a fellowship time and a brief Monday Thursday worship on Thursday, April 9 at 6.30, and then the Easter Sunday worship on Sunday, April 12 at 9.30 a.m. I want to begin our worship time with lighting the peace candle. Today, we want to remember all the people who have been affected by this pandemic. We are united throughout the world with the human family in battling the COVID-19 virus. We remember those who have lost family members and loved ones, often without being able to be present to each other. We remember those who currently have the virus and are wondering what the future holds. We remember the various most vulnerable populations, the elderly, those with autoimmune deficiencies and other underlying health issues. We remember parents and children at home trying to cope in tight quarters and or where relational tensions might be high. We especially remember our first responders and medical and healthcare personnel, often working under difficult circumstances and long hours and putting themselves at higher risk. May we each do our part, even if that is just doing a good job of staying at home and washing our hands. I invite you to say, say our peace prayer printed in the bulletin. God of peace, Christ of peace, spirit of peace, you are calling us to be peacemakers. Today we light this candle as a reminder of our calling. If you have a bullet with you, you can join me in the call to worship. We praise Jesus along with the Palm Sunday crowds for all we know of his miracles and goodness, even as we grieve losses and feel the anxiety about what is ahead. God's faithful love endures forever. Open our eyes, Lord, our ears and our heart to see your faithfulness in the midst of difficulty. This is the day you have made. We will rejoice in it. We give you thanks. Your faithful love endures forever. While only six of us are gathered here at the church and keeping our distance, and we're the only ones that have palm branches, I invite you to hold praise for God's faithfulness together with the grief of not being able to be gathered together. Hold together our thankfulness for being okay together with our concern for others 
and the low-level anxiety that we may feel. And today I invite you to listen or sing at home as Crystal plays through three hymns that hold these feelings together. The contemplative Abre Me Ojos, Open Our Eyes, Lord, Open Our Ears, Lord, Open Our Heart, Lord, Help Us to See, Hear, and Love Like You, from number 65 in the Sing the Story hymnal. Then the quick and joyous, joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Love divine is reigning o'er us, leading us with mercy's hand. Teach us how to love each other. Lift us to the joy divine. Number 71 in the blue hymnal. And finally, the deeply felt and sonorous, I want Jesus to walk with me. In my trials, when my heart is breaking, when I am in trouble, and when my head is bowed in sorrow, Lord, I want Jesus to walk with me. I suspect there were followers of Jesus waving branches and welcoming Jesus, but feeling all these things just as we might today.
I invite you to join in a time of confession. Lord, we want to greet you with joy like the people along the road to Jerusalem, but confess that during this time of COVID-19, it is hard and we feel anxious. Teach us how to hold joy and our anxieties. Lord, have mercy. We come as the people who were baffled by how quickly things can change. Lord, have mercy. We come wanting to be with you as we enter the week of your death, but know that we cannot do it alone. Lord, have mercy. Hear these words of assurance. Know that Jesus does offer mercy and understands. Understands the hard road between joy and anxiety, between belief and unbelief. Know that Jesus will never leave you and will love you on whatever part of the road you find yourself. Amen. Jamie Pitts will come and read today's scripture from Matthew 21 in both English and Spanish. Then Jay Cass will bring today's word. And Jake, may you and we sense God's spirit at work as you share what God has given you.